Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Oceanside, California approves anti-drone device. DJI gives drones more power for commercial use. And FAI Drone Racing World Cup 2018 is coming soon. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. The city of Oceanside, California in San Diego County has approved the use of a drone killer by its police department. The device acquired by the city comes from IXI Technology. It was developed by the company using similar technology used by the U.S. military. It disrupts the radio signal controlling the drone and either forces it to land immediately or return to its operator. According to local authorities, drones have been a problem particularly for firefighters in the area. Oceanside Police Department spokesperson Tom Bussey said that during the Lilac Fire in December, we had a drone up and we couldn't make water drops with firefighting aircraft because that drone was in the air. Andy Moray, Director of Marketing for IXI Technology, told KNSD that the civilian version of the device was available for use during the NFL season and would be deployed at some Major League Baseball parks this year. More Abe said the device was being donated to the Oceanside Police Department simply because they were the first such agency in the country to express an interest in the device. City officials say that the device will not be used against hobby drones. Its use will be restricted to public safety and emergencies. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shortest stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. AeroVironment is now taking orders for its new Puma 3 small unmanned aircraft system. AeroVironment upgraded the Puma's airframe to enable robust operation of its I-45EO IR sensor suite with singet payloads in harsh and demanding environments. In addition, the Puma 3 incorporates AeroVironment's latest digital data link with security upgrades to support operation in more challenging radio frequency environments. Congresswoman Vicki Hartzler recently introduced H.R. 5366, the Safeguarding America's Skies Act, which would allow the Department of Justice and the Department of Homeland Security to detect, track, and engage with drones that pose a security risk to agency facilities and assets. Drone maker Parrot has entered into an agreement with Arvado SCM Solutions to provide logistics and fulfillment services from its Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin facility. The company will handle distribution of Parrot drones in the U.S. and Canada. The FAA has granted special approval for first responders to fly their drones in airspace over Dallas-Fort Worth Airport, as well as inside the terminals. The authorization is the first granted by the FAA for such operations. Garrett Bryle of the North Texas USA response team said that public safety officials at the airport can use the aircraft not only to identify potential threats on the airport grounds, but also scan inside the terminal. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. DJI has unveiled new technology and tools to customize its enterprise drone platforms for specialized tasks such as infrastructure inspection, precision agriculture, firefighting, and search and rescue. The new Zenmuse X-T2 thermal imaging camera, created in partnership with FLIR Systems, is a critical tool for drone operators to capture heat signature invisible to the naked eye. The Zenmuse X-T2 is a powerful thermal imaging camera that transforms data into actionable insights. Its gimbal-sized dual sensor design combines an advanced FLIR radiometric thermal imager and a 4K visual camera to allow drone operators to view thermal and visual data while in flight. FLIR MSX technology combines visual and temperature data into one image, allowing operators to easily identify objects of concern. DJI Spotlight Pro features let operators focus on safe flight operations and data interpretation while the camera automatically tracks an object through two intelligent flight modes. QuickTrack centers the camera on the selected area, while HeatTrack automatically tracks the hottest object in view. The tip alarm feature interprets thermal data in real time 
and alerts drone operators when an object's temperature exceeds critical thresholds. The Zenmuse X-T2 is compatible with DJI's Matrice 200 series and Matrice 600 Pro Enterprise drones. DJI is reducing several layers of complexity with the introduction of DJI Skyport, a gimbal port adapter that enables an external payload to be seamlessly integrated to DJI drones. The FAI Drone Racing World Cup 2018 is coming to a city near you soon. A massive 24 World Cup contests are already registered on the FAI calendar for this third edition of the FAI Drone Racing World Cup up from 16 last year and 9 in 2016. That makes the World Cup the biggest drone racing series around and means lots more opportunities for both pilots and fans to enjoy the electrifying thrills of top-level drone racing. The first event will be the 2018 Indonesia Drone Racing World Cup taking place in Bali on April 6-8. through Pril up in the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia will be the venue for the final contest of the 2018 season which will run on October 13th through 14th. As in previous years, competitors will participate in a series of races, flying multi-rotor drones weighing no more than 2.2 pounds. The FAI Drone Racing World Cup is a unique event, offering fun and excitement for competitors and spectators alike. It brings together drone racers from all over the world and gives them a platform from which to show off their considerable skills while pitting their drones against other top flight pilots. With contests in 19 different countries, ranging from China to Finland, Brazil to France, and Russia to Australia, it also reflects the international popularity of drone sports. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week. <music>